Hey, fellas. Tough game coming up today, but I believe in you guys. We got number seven on the other side. We all know about him. He's one of the best quarterbacks in the nation. Possibly even going number one in the upcoming draft. Everybody's saying it. But I don't care about any of that. We can shut him down. I believe in this defense. Let's get after the quarterback for the second straight game. We started out hot last week. Let's continue that into this week. And let's get this W. Let's shock the world and upset North Carolina. Yo, what's good, YouTube? This is Jake from TNJ. And welcome back to the Charlotte 49ers Dynasty. We had a very good win last week versus South Alabama. I am excited to play this week. And we are going up against a banged up North Carolina team. They are missing their starting left tackle and center and also one of their running backs in the backfield. Both of their linemen are done for the season. We got to take advantage of that on the defensive side of the ball. Now, last week we saw Gary Anderson with the four sack game. And I said last episode that I will start doing this with players of the week in our conference. They will get plus one in their statistical categories here. So we will update Asher O'Hara from Middle Tennessee State. He was player of the week offensively. And then for us, Gary Anderson gets a boost with his skills as well. Now in the ACC, how about North Carolina last week? They had two offensive players of the week in their win versus FSU, and one of them was number one overall pick in the 2022 NFL Draft, Sam Howell. He's projected to go number one. He is an excellent quarterback off to an excellent start, eight touchdowns, zero interceptions. He also can move around a little bit as well. Now, they have a very good offense. Bo Corrales is their leading receiver, and also Kamari Morales is very good as, at a tight end spot as well. But I think that this team is just very well-rounded. They are number 11 in the nation for a reason, undefeated at this point. And let's just see if we can come through with the upset here on the road and shock the world. Because Charlotte... This would be our biggest win of this series and of school history. So let's get this game underway as we will receive the opening kickoff. Here is Riv Johnson, number nine, the senior, back to receive the opening kickoff. And he takes it to about the 25-yard line gain of 28. And out comes Brian Rochford, who has been excellent so far to start this year. Here's a handoff to start off the game, and that is Terrence Pitt Howard. And the sophomore picks up a gain of four. Now we want to get our tight end involved here, Christopher Dalton, so we might target him on this pass, and we do. Second and six, it's a first down. Gain of 11, Christopher Dalton is a chain mover. He also leads us in catches this year. So now here's a quick throw out of the backfield. This is Terrence Pitt Howard, and he picks up about a gain of 13. UNC tried to send the blitz. It didn't work. So two backs in the backfield now across the 50. Here's a handoff to TPH. He picks up the, a gain of about 10 yards, first down. And Terrence Pitt Howard already getting involved pretty early. So JPE checks to the game now for a read option, and he picks up about a gain of seven. And we're moving the ball on UNC to start out this game. So Calvin Joshua checks in at running back here for a third and in inches. Here's a quick throw, and that is Devon Cash having himself a great bounce back year from the disappointing year he had a year ago as a freshman. But now he gets the first catch of the game for him. As now we get it to a third and 10. Here is Rochford rolling to the right and throws in the traffic. It possibly should have been picked off by a Hooper on that one. Is it Hopper or Hooper? And we end up settling for three. And that is good. And UNC is down by three as here comes the number 20, number one overall pick in next year's draft. Let's see what happens. Here is Sam Howell, his first pass out to the right side. It's caught. And Marie Simmons goes for a gain of 28. He's got plenty of weapons with this offense as well. This is going to be a tough game for our defense. So here's a read option this time. And here's a pitch out to Simmons again. He has it, throws a stiff arm, and tries to fight forward, but picks up a gain of, seven, uh, gain of 12, actually. And that was a tackle by number 17, Chase Rollins, the redshirt freshman. As now they have it across the 50. Here's Howell under pressure. He gets hit on the throw, and it's almost picked off. Kevin Knox, the freshman cornerback, almost turns the ball over for UNC. And now it's second and 10. They get new life. Howell in the pocket, moves a little bit, and then takes off to the right side. He throws a stiff arm and gets tackled from behind. 
And it looks like they are going to call a penalty on that one, but they picked up the first down. That was offsides on the defense. So this drive continues now with a quick throw, and that has caught Kamari Morales, the tight end, his first catch of the game. So now they get it to about the 10-yard line here for a third and seven. They do block the tight end for a second, but he sneaks out of the backfield, and then he gets it to Simmons, who just fights for the first down, gain of eight. And now it's goal to go. So here's Howell now with three wide receivers out there. He throws to the corner of the end zone. Touchdown, Joshua Downs. Sam Howell looks good on that first drive. He almost threw an interception. I guess we almost threw one on our first drive as well. It's seven to three. So here is Charlotte back on offense. Here's a handoff, Terrence Pitt Howard. We definitely want to get him his carries. We want to get him the ball more. He picks up a gain of two. So now third and three this time, Rochford throws to a wide open, Kung Yashu, and he has it on the sideline, gain of 12. And it's a first down for the junior. So first and 10 this time, screen pass call to Calvin Joshua. We have blockers out there, and we pick up two of them. Joshua makes a man miss inside the 20, the 10. He's pushed out at the three-yard line. Gain of 53 yards for Calvin Joshua. And we have two receiving backs on this team. Joshua checks in on that one. And there we go. Now it's first and goal. So Terrence Pitt Howard is checked to the game. Two tight ends to the left. Here's a handoff. And Pitt Howard walks in two yards out. It's a touchdown. Charlotte's up 10 to 7 here to start out this game. And it looks like we are driving pretty well to start this first quarter. So now we're into the second quarter now as here's Sam Howell back out onto the field. Read option. He's got space too and a lot of blockers, but we do eventually close on him before it turns into an ugly run. Gain of 14 yards, first down. They're already across the 50. Here's a counterplay. Henderson, and he does fall forward. About a gain of four, just maybe inches short of the first down. And now they come out here with a third and inches. They're actually going to pass this ball. Got we send he. the pressure and we get to him. That is the true freshman, Ralph Clark, in for the sack. He gets in unblocked, and I don't know what Henderson was doing on that one, but he completely misses the block pickup, the blitz pickup. And now we come back out after a punt. And we have possession. We've scored on two of two drives so far. Let's see if we can make it the first three drives with points. So here's Rochford under center. He runs McLott in motion, gets rid of it quickly, and it's caught by Marcus Williams at about the 49. Gain of 18. The blitz was right there in his face, but Rochford is so composed, he gets rid of it on time. So first and 10. Wildcat, and that one is not going to work. They stuffed that one right away. Loss of three. So UNC sends the blitz, it's picked up beautifully, and we get it over to the right side, Micklot. He's got it for a gain of 18. How about our offensive line communicating on that one? It's a first down. So two and a half to go, we wanna waste a little bit of clock, that's why we're running the clock off, and here's Rochford, big time run. Picking up a block downfield, and how about Rochford scrambling? Look at Calvin Joshua throws the block downfield as well, clearing the lane. So JPE, the redshirt freshman, checks into the game. He throws the left side. He's got Devon Cash, who tries to cut outside and barely gets taken down by the last man there that could have. Now it's a second and five. Handoff, Terrence Pithauer almost gets into the end zone. But it's a first and goal now. At least we can run off some more clock. So 50 seconds left. Here is a handoff. Benjamin Duke, he cuts up field. Touchdown, one yard out. But how about the vision from Benjamin Duke making a couple men miss at the end of that play right there. And now we're up by 10. We are shocking the nation so far as Sam Howell is back out onto the field. That's Josh Downs. He scored earlier to gain a 14, his second catch of the game, first down. So they do stop the clock with that catch. Here's Howell moving in the pocket, throws to the right side, and he's got Brown on the sideline, gain of 15. His first catch of the game. So Charlotte playing good defense so far, but they give up a big one, and that is to Emery Simmons, gain of 24. They burn their second timeout close to the 17. So 30 seconds left. Here's a read option, and they pitch it to Henderson. Not this time. It's Kevin Scott, the senior, with the tackle in the backfield. 
They hurried up to the line. Now the clock is still running, 18 seconds. Here's Howell in the pocket, facing a little bit of pressure, but great protection, throws, and it's picked off. Vincent Youngblood in the end zone. Comes up with the turnover right before halftime. And how about this development? We are up by 10, forcing that interception at the end of the first half. And wow, North Carolina is shocked. Down 10. So here we start the second half. Can we continue this great defensive play versus the number one overall pick? Here's Howell, his first pass to left side, and it's picked off. Kevin Knox, he goes up and gets it, and he's got a turnover once again. Two passes, two interceptions for Sam Howell, and wow, what is going on here in North Carolina? UNC is absolutely rattled. So here are offense checks back out onto the field. Here is JPE into the game, and he picks up a gain of 10. Running that option, he's very good at it. Picking up a gain of 10, moving the chains. So here's Rochford, quick throw, middle screen. He's got McLott, and he gets it to the middle of the field, picking up another first down. UNC's defense is struggling versus our offense as well. So play action fake this time. JPE scrambles to the right side. This may have been a designed quarterback run, and he almost gets to the pylon. Tackled at the one, first and goal. JPE remains into the game now. Here is a design halfback swing, and he takes it up the middle. It's a touchdown. We're up by three scores on the road. JPE is just doing it here this game. And how about the defense? They come back out onto the field. They're feeling good. Here's an option to start out the next drive, and that's not going to work. Henderson tackled by Max Liebham Jr., the senior. And wow, how about this defense? Got, got a good shot on Sam Howell right there as well. So they come out here with five wide, second and 11. Quick throw across the middle, and that is caught by Corrales. His first catch of the game. How about this? We've held him to zero catches up to this point. He gets his first catch midway through the third quarter. So here is Sam Howell now across the 50 with the first and 10. He has Henderson next to him. Good blocking so far. Throws to the sideline. It's picked off. It's Kevin Knox again. His second interception of his career. And what do you know? It comes against the best quarterback in the nation at this point. 24 to 7. And we have possession. We are just shocking this crowd. It is just dead silent in the stadium. But here's a handoff. Benjamin Duke puts it on the turf. And that is a turnover right away. And we give one right back to UNC. And Benjamin Duke, the freshman, he's got to know. He's got to hold on to that one. And now here they go back and onto the field on offense. Here's Henderson, a carry to the right side, breaks the tackle. And he picks up about a gain of six. Tackle by D. Brown Jr., the junior defensive tackle. So now third and four, this time Sam Howell throws to the sideline and it's knocked away. Another great play by Kevin Knox. Man, if this isn't a coming out party, I don't know what is. And they line up for the field goal here from the 22 and the kick is up and it's off the left upright and it's no good. How about this defense coming up with the stop and then this ball barely bounces out from the upright. So here we come back out onto the field, up 24 to seven. Hopefully no fumbles this time. Here is Rochford losing five yards after a penalty. Brings it back to about the 11 yard line now for a third and 20. Rochford, more pressure. He's just gonna get rid of this one. But we trust our defense here and we're gonna punt it away. And now here they come back out onto the, onto the field. Sam Howell has been in trouble the last couple drives. So here he is throwing to left side all the way across the field. He's got downs, breaking a tackle from Octavius Oakley, but falls forward to about the 31. It's a gain of 20 for downs. So now at the 31-yard line this time, Sam Howell moves in the pocket this time, has all day to throw. Throw in across the middle. He's got Bo Corrales, gain of 26. The pass protection was very, very good on that throw. And now they're inside the 10, just about the 5. So here is Howell in the pocket, throws, and it's Corrales again. Touchdown, he's open. That's what happens when you have all day to throw. 
He finds his open man, and now they're down by 10 to start the fourth quarter. So the first pass of the fourth is caught. Mick Lott, gain of 12. Nice throw by Brian Rochford. Moving the chains quite a bit in this one, but here is pressure on the left edge. It's a fumble. Rochford coughs it up. And UNC forces two turnovers, back-to-back -back drives. This time, Fox just throws Brian Rochford down, and Rochford can't hold on to the football. And UNC gets another turnover, and now they could be right back in this game. So here's Howell on the next drive, running a read option. He gets inside the 10, tackle by Kevin Scott, but a gain of 12 for him. And now they're threatening to score again. Here's a handoff to left side, and Henderson tackled in the backfield, loss of four. That's Lee Elmer, the defensive end, and the senior gets the tackle for loss. So third and goal. This time it's a halfback middle screen. I have never seen the CPU call that play, and it's incomplete. Now fourth and goal. They're going to come in for the field goal. This time they don't miss, and it's now a seven-point game. So now with about four minutes left, we're going to try to run the ball here. JPE takes it up the middle. Quarterback design draw, picking up a gain of 11. So two minutes, 40 seconds, and counting left. Here's a read option this time, and the defense sniffs it out. They know what's coming. They know we're going to try to run the ball, but there Kyler McMichael makes the tackle in the backfield on JPE. So now third and 17. The clock is still running here, under two minutes left now. We try to change the, the flip the play, and there's going to be a flag on the play. They're going to call delay of game on the offense, and we're going to lose five. Now it's third and 22. So here we run a man in motion. This time, Rochford tries to get out of the pocket, and he's going to stop and throw, and maybe a smart play on that one, taking the sack instead of throwing it away and stopping the clock. We force them to burn a timeout. So now under two minutes left. Let's see what Sam Howell has on this last drive. Got here, sending it. pressure up the middle. He tries to get the screen pass off and gets sacked instead. That's about a loss of 11 yards. Here, second and 21. They throw to left side, and it's caught by Morales. They at least get the yardage back, but the clock is still running here. Third and nine now. So here is Howell now. Middle screen called. He gets it to Corrales, and it's only a gain of one. Demarcus Forte was out there for the stop. And now a fourth and eight. This could be the game. They only have one timeout left. Let's see what Sam Howell can do here. Fourth and eight with the game on the line. Howell throws the left side, and it's picked off. That's Max Liebham Jr., the senior. He's got it, cutting inside, touchdown, pick six. What a way to end this game. Sam Howell throws four interceptions versus an in-state opponent who he was projected to blow out by 21 points, and not this time. Sam Howell gets hit on the throw. I got to credit D. Brown Jr. on the pressure, maybe forcing him to throw a little bit too early, and it goes the other way for six. And Charlotte caps off their biggest win in school history. Is wow, what a game defensively. The freshman Kevin Knox ends up getting player of the game with two interceptions. And wow, 31 to 17. We did not just upset them. We upset first an in-state opponent, the number 11 team in the nation, and the number one overall pick in the 2022 NFL Draft. I'm not sure if we hurt his draft stock, but it definitely looks like a bad loss on his resume, especially since he turned the ball over for interceptions. It'd be one thing if he had a good game. That was a terrible game that we just made him have. And how about this, this team? I mean, this team is impressive. The defense showed up last week with a record number of sacks in that game versus uh, JT2 in South Alabama. And then we come back this week and beat UNC by two scores. Two scores. And we won by pick six, four interceptions. It just feels so good now. Our defense is rolling. We're throwing out different packages. We tried to get the pass rush in there. We didn't really get too many sacks. We only had two this game. But still, I think we really forced some bad passes just by getting, you know, how out of the pocket and moving in the pocket, making him move around. And he felt uncomfortable all game. But how about our cornerbacks? 
all three of our cornerbacks, our outside and our slot corner, each had an interception. I don't think that's ever happened in any one of my series. And Howell throws for 274 yards, 75% completion percentage, but two touchdowns, four interceptions. Nobody expected us to have that as a winner in our schedule, but now we move on for our last non-conference game. I thought Kevin Knox was going to win player of the week this week, but he didn't. Even through two interceptions, two lanes cornerback also had two interceptions. He gets player of the week on the defensive side for his squad. And now we're 2-1. and one. Let's just check on other teams. Here is Billy Ray for East Carolina. 1-1 one and one so far. Two touchdowns, three interceptions. Still having that turnover issue he had with us. But they're 1-1 one and one at least. Good start for them. And here on the other side of the conference, Appalachian State is 3-1. Southern Miss is 2-0 to start the year. But Appalachian State's only loss comes against Florida in the opener by three. So this is a very good Appalachian State team. Their last week, they won 45 to nothing versus Ohio. They are really, really good and a great addition to this conference. Now remember here, we do have a promotion and relegation system and we can get promoted if we make it to the conference championship and win and we will move on to the American and from the American to the ACC. So that's how it's gonna be. I'm not gonna promote any other conferences, it's just gonna be Conference USA, American and ACC having that demotion promotion system. And looking at the stats so far, I think we are playing very good football. We have a double digit sacks already through the first three games. That's more than we had last year as a whole. And I think that this year is gonna be very, very exciting. We have one more non-conference game left. That's versus SMU. Then we will have the recruiting special, so you don't wanna miss, miss that before hopping into conference play. So let's see if we can continue this winning. Two straight wins here and very good ones with our defense, the way they're playing. I think we're primed for a very good year, hopefully a bull bid and maybe even a conference championship already in year two. We'll see. Hit subscribe, hit that like button. I'm excited to get into more of this dynasty. Stay tuned. Let's get it. Let's go. I hope the rain don't come